In a previous video, I mentioned that when we compare ourselves to other people's highlight reels, as a response, we improve our own persona, we improve our avatar, we improve our posting. We think now that we have to post more images of, of, of shopping malls, of products, of places to go, of experiences, the pool, the cinema, that we also now have to improve this persona so we can tell and show people how amazing our own lives are and how happy we are. So that's an often a response. And then I said in the previous video, why don't you invest that time and energy into actually living that life, to actually try to build that life that you're showing online, that through your persona. But at the same time, you also want to really ask yourself, is that really the life you want to live? Or is that persona basically showing a life that you think other people want you to live, that other people expect you to live, or that will impress other people because they, that is happiness and success to them. You want to ask for yourself, what is success, what is happiness, and what is it exactly that you want to achieve in your life? So that's why I said in a previous video. But also, you want to analyze your own feelings when you actually see posts that make you feel sad. Because at, you, can, you can flip it. If it makes you sad, why does it make you sad? Of course, you have to take into consideration that all these influencers are paid to show happy thoughts, happy images, beautiful images of, of beaches, of, of, of dresses, of food, and it's inevitable. It's always positive, right? So you cannot really expect that everyone is eating in restaurants every single day and, is, and goes to Santorini and then the Maldives and then to the Mauritius every single day. Like, no, that, that's not how it is. But you can ask yourself, what is it that you see in those posts that make you feel a specific way what what is it is it is it a family is it is it the level of finance is it people is it friends is it activities that you see other people acting on and you're not what is lacking and then be realistic as well right i mean if you have a relationship and you're not really traveling a lot but you see other people traveling a lot a lot because they are posting so many photos then yes, just don't watch those photos, you know, because it, you know it's not true, but you think it is true and then you are going to then compare yourself and then think, well, why aren't we traveling every single day, for example? Unless it is something you really want to achieve, then maybe you can try and see if you can make it happen. But just to take a step back, if, if it's a family that you're lacking, if it's a boyfriend or a girlfriend that you're lacking, then are you doing the best you can to improve your social skills or to meet someone new? Or are you just on social media feeling sorry for yourself? Are you, for example, stalking your ex? And, or are you just you know, playing video games all the time and just feeling sorry for yourself? Or are you actually taking care of yourself and trying to meet someone? So sometimes those posts can make you realize that you do miss having something or someone and it's okay to acknowledge those feelings. Again, it's not always realistic what you see on social media, but you can use it as a, as a way to figuring out what it is that you like to accomplish in your own life or gain in your own life. So be open about it to yourself and see what you can do to gain and accomplish that thing or that someone. If you want to become more successful, then how do you want to become more successful? If you want to make more money, what can you do to make more money? You got, you got to start thinking practical and not just staying on the couch and just be dreaming about, I wish I had that life, but I don't. So try to, if you're scrolling and you feel a specific level of sadness or disappointment, why is it and, is it, and are you able and are you willing to do something about it if it is making you feel sad because you don't have it at this very moment. But I will close this video by saying it is better to not see the news feed and to simply do some, some introspection and some self-reflection about who you are, who you want to be, where you want to go, and what you want to achieve. But if you're on the news feed and you feel a bit sad, you can ask yourself why. And then try to make sure that you're not put yourself in that situation where you are constantly comparing and also then feeling a bit sad or negative or whatever negative emotion you might feel.